welcome back. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss Tender Matte Lipstick. And I picked up one of these to try out the formula. First, let's go ahead and start off with my unboxing and some demos. And then we're gonna go through the claims from Guerlain and my thoughts on this. The lipstick I have on right now has been on for six hours. I have worn this longer than this to kind of test out longevity and so forth that, you know, I just didn't film that. So I do have, you know, information on how well it wears and everything that I would like to share with you as well. So first, unboxing and demos, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. So I have with me one of the new Guerlain lipsticks from the Tender Matte line. And I just wanted to show you how it came packaged. So you can see this is a bag, but it's flat at the top. Inside, I have several samples. I ordered this directly from the Guerlain website. And if you haven't ordered from them before, they just recently you know, enabled ordering from their website a few months ago, but they're very generous with the samples. So you always get three samples. So here's my lipstick. And then I have a sample of the Abbe Royale, the uh, Youth Watery Oil, which I have used and loved for years. I've bought a couple bottles at this point. I have a sample of the Mont Guerlain <laughs> perfume, Eau de Parfum, and also the Orchidee Imperial, the cream. So I feel like those are very generous samples. There is free shipping and it always comes packaged nicely. And I only purchased one lipstick, so... Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to test this out. There were actually several that I wanted to get, but then I thought better of buying so many before I've even tried the formula. So we started with one and then we'll see. So it comes in this box. It's 2.8 grams or 0 0.09 ounces. And this is the packaging. So it's just like the other Kiss Kiss lipsticks. I actually don't have any of the Kiss Kiss lipsticks. So this will be my first one. And when I... Yeah, I think it's actually really nice. So this is made in France and I'm trying to see if there is a like a, an expiration date anywhere, but I don't see it listed anywhere on the actual package and I don't see it on the box, but you know, we'll, we'll just see. So I picked up number 999, which is their deepest red shade. So I'm going to bring you in closer and we'll test this out without any lip liner or anything first. And then I'll probably add some lip liner. So this is number 999 and just a swatch here. You can see it looks more like a brick red here in the bullet, but this is what it looks like when you swipe it. So it's actually very different. Let me build that up. And you can see just looking at the swatch that this is not a flat matte. So there is a sheen to it, which to say I thought it was going to look more matte than this. I actually like this. So let's apply it and see how it goes. So application's not the best, but I think the color is really nice and I like the sheen on it. Texturally, you know, it feels really nice on the, the lips. I already got lipstick on my teeth, but it doesn't have that dry powdery matte finish. It's a little bit thicker on the lips than some others. And you can probably tell that that's going to be the case when you see the swatch of just the one swipe there, it's pretty opaque. And it doesn't feel heavy on the lips, but you can definitely feel it there. And it's not powdery. It's a little bit drier feeling than a, you know, a satin or a cream lipstick, but definitely not like traditional matte lipsticks. So I'll be testing this out and I'll give you guys some updates. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some lip liner to this make it a little bit sharper, and then I will see you in a little bit. So this is the lipstick over the Chanel Brun Carmen. This is number 198. And I added this mostly to the outlines. This is a bit deeper, so let me just show you a swatch here. So it's more of a burgundy with that. 
So I'll wear this for a little bit and then I'm also going to test this with a brighter or matching lip liner as well and we'll look at that one later. All right, and here is the Tender Matte in shade 999 over this lip liner now. So you can see this one matches much better. This is the Pat McGrath lip liner in major. And you can see that it's got a similar tone to it. Major has a slightly cooler undertone to it than 999. 999 and Major both have kind of like this blue base to it. However, there's a little bit more of that bright pink tone in major than there is in 999. I hope it was helpful to see how the different lip liners can change the appearance of the lipstick. And right now I have on the major lip liner that I applied last in that clip. Now, let's start off with some product information. This lipstick, it comes in the typical uh, Kiss Kiss formula for the Kiss Kiss lipstick line. I don't have any others, but you know, this is like a black metal packaging. I think it's very nice, very chic. It does clip in, so there's a little clip here. And this, as I mentioned before, it's made in France and it's 2.8 grams. These retail for $39 and in this new line there are currently 15 shades. I was interested in quite a few of them but decided to just stick with one to make sure I like the formula first. I've been buying way too many lipsticks recently. So let's discuss Guerlain's claims for this lipstick product. And just so you know, I took notes from the Guerlain website and I will be looking down to check my notes. This lipstick is considered a luminous matte and there's a trio of active ingredients in here to aid in comfort and so forth. So we have hyaluronic acid, shea butter, and rose petal extract. And the purpose of this trio is to nourish and flawlessly shape the lips with no compromise on comfort for 16 hours. And the 16 hours is a self-assessment from 20 women who tried out this product. Now I have to say that the 16 hour statement I feel is very subjective personally. I am somebody who likes to have something on my lips, like lip balm or something. You know, I like them to feel like they're being moisturized all the time. So this lipstick is comfortable if you are looking for like not having product on your lips. So it feels as though I don't have anything on. It's not drying at all, but we're gonna get a little bit more onto the texture and how it feels in just a minute. But I would have to say that if you are somebody who doesn't mind the feeling of not having anything on your lips, then I can definitely agree with the 16 hours. That is true. My lips never felt tight or drying or anything with this product. Now, another claim from Guerlain is that there's a second skin texture for a light bare lip sensation like no other. The secret? Mattifying powders coat it in shea butter to centrally glide over lips and bathe them in luminous matte color that lasts 12 hours. And this 12 hours is an instrumental test. I'm not sure exactly what they did, but my guess is that they used some sort of instrument uh, to test the opacity or, of the pigments that were remaining on the lips. So that would be my best guess, but I do not know. However, this would be a scientific test instead of a self-assessment. Now, this claim I agree with and I disagree with. So right now, I've had this particular lipstick on for six hours. And right now I do have this light bare lip sensation. It feels like I have absolutely nothing on. You can see it's still incredibly pigmented. It does not look like I need to reapply. However, when I put it on for the first five hours or so, even with eating and drinking, I do not have that bare lip sensation. I still feel some product on my lips. It's very comfortable. I wouldn't say it's like super creamy and hydrating or anything. I feel like there's product there but it's not like a, it's not like the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvets where you feel like that creamy feeling a little bit longer on your lips. This would not be to that extent. It's like a much, there is much less of that texture to it, but you still have a bit of that creamy feeling for a few hours before that wears off. So I think it's very, very comfortable, uh, but I wouldn't say that you have a bare lip feeling until you get to the five, six hour point when it, the top layer kind of wears off. Now, Guerlain mentions that the mattifying powders are coated in shea butter, and I actually think that is a fantastic idea 
because typically when you wear any of these matte and velvet lipsticks, you feel a bit of that powdery matte finish and you don't really feel that with this tender matte lipstick. So I was really kind of surprised by that, but it's very comfortable on the lips and I find it to just feel a little bit nicer that way. You know, unless you're somebody who really likes that powdery matte feeling, I think this is a really nice option. Now, one other thing I'd like to mention is the fragrance. If you are familiar with Guerlain lipsticks, they all have a fragrance. This is that same fragrance. However, I have to say that I don't smell it as strongly as I do in the Rouge G lipsticks. There is a description of the fragrance, so if you're interested, it is a light, delicate scent of a vanilla floriental, leaves its incomparable mark on Kiss Kiss. Top notes sparkle with a lemon, orange, and bergamot accord. The rose and iris heart exudes sweetness. The vanilla and tonka bean dry down gives Kiss Kiss all of its intensity. So for me, you know, not really the best at delineating all of the different notes and so forth in a scent, but I can definitely smell a little bit of citrus, floral, and vanilla mixed together. More vanilla than any of the others but you can tell like there's a mix of that. Again, if you're familiar with Guerlain lipsticks, this is the same scent. It's just a little bit softer in my opinion. Now, as for the longevity of this lipstick, I have already worn this for a day to kind of test things out. And as with any lip product, if you are eating like greasy, oilier foods, that's gonna remove pigment a little bit faster. However, if you're eating at normal intervals and you're eating things that aren't super greasy, your pigment, your color is really gonna last all day with this lip product. So I think it really holds up well. And for me with you know normal eating and drinking and so forth, I don't really notice any significant fading until about the eight or 10 hour mark. And most of that is from my water bottle. Like I like to drink out of a hydro flask every day to make sure I really get in enough water. So I like the, the one that has, you know, it's like, I'll show you a picture of the lid, <laughs> but because of that, you know, I do wear off a little bit faster in that particular area where my lip comes in contact with it. When I use a glass, I actually don't have as much pressure being exerted from the glass. So I don't use quite as much as I do on my big hydro flask. So that's just something to note, but I do think that for most people, you're gonna get anywhere between eight and 12 hours of wear without the actual need to retouch. And with any lipstick, if you feel the need to retouch, you can obviously reapply this, or you can add like a balm or a gloss or anything to just kind of refresh it a little bit. So I think it's a great formula and it's very comfortable on the lips. Appearance wise, again, I think it has more of that velvet appearance and in comparison with other velvet lipsticks that I have tried, I would say that the texture on the lips feels most like the Chanel uh, Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks. So not the Velvet Extreme, but the Rouge Allure Velvets. This is slightly creamier than that. I would say that it is in between this and the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvets in texture but closer to the Chanel. So as for appearance, I think it's great. Pigmentation is great. Do you need a lip liner with this? I would recommend it. Without using a lip liner, I did experience just a little bit of feathering around the lip line. And honestly, you're gonna get that pretty much with any deep colored lipstick. So I would definitely recommend a lip liner with these products, but it stays put pretty well. In summation, I would have to say that this is a really great new lipstick formula and is a fantastic addition to the Guerlain lipstick line and a wonderful addition to my collection of matte and velvet lipsticks. I think it's just, it's really comfortable. It's really pigmented. It goes on well. It's definitely well thought out. Again, for people who don't like any fragrance at all, Guerlain lipsticks are probably not for you. But if you don't mind the fragrance, you know, I think this is something that would be fantastic to try. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. I already washed my face in the makeup box. <laughs>